Hello there and welcome on Flight Penguin. Uh, if you remember, we left off right as we jumped into this tower. Um, I did have to back up the save just a little bit. Uh, the, you know, the, the cylinder is rolling. Like, we, we are in mid-crisis. Oh god, you just spawned in on top of me. Uh, we're in mid-crisis, so we're gonna spin to win real fast and just roll through. And then I think we'll hit this story beat, like, basically where we left off last episode. Alright, come on gang, everybody in the van? Everybody got your stuff? Buckle up, let's go. And then this is what we unveiled. Though we have no idea what this means. Um, this game is certainly puzzling, for sure. I don't what was this know if you're gonna hurt being? me. It's like from Our <laughs> Toy Story. One of Sid's the toys. Felt an old, distant horror, as if they remembered their own destruction. Their own destruction. Something about this creature was very, very wrong. Are you friend or foe? I'm, I mean, my all of my vibes are saying foe. Uh, I can also see that I probably want to go that way. Um, towards that, like, bow tie looking thing. And then, how far away is our next tower? Our next tower is actually really far away. And there's a little circle in the sky? A little, little orb over there? Let's go to that orb next, I think. Perhaps the creature would wake up with a loud noise. Oh, okay, okay. Loud noises. I got you. I got you. Uh, let's blow. Hello. I've honked. Can you honk back? Okay, that's disturb. Oh, everybody, everybody out, everybody out, everybody out. I don't feel safe anymore. <laughs> on all sides by deep pools of poisonous gas. The trouble. Why did you have me wake it up, Mr. Attenborough? I don't think that we were. Creatures wait to lower the bridge. Wait, is there a bridge that we're we're trying to get it to? I don't think that I yet comprehend what we need. Um, and I think I'm taking damage. I could be wrong. This looks like it's gonna break. So is that the bridge in question? Probably should just get out of the way, huh? I think this is a bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is the bridge. We could probably do some sort of like hopping mechanics to get across, but I think what we really want- Oh, there's like steampunk stuff going on as well. I think what we really want is to get him to run into this, um, this like, this, uh, thing here. Yeah, we can't get over there until we, until we cross this bridge anyway. I think we really need him to run into this chain, which he's kind of on his way to do. Like he's kind of doing it. Um, maybe if we just, oh, I'm losing, I'm losing my mutations. That's what this is. Okay. Come back here. Come back here. Come back here. Toro, Toro. I don't know how many of my Trobums are still alive. I'm going to be honest. I don't think any of them have died, um, but it's not looking good. Run into the chain. There you go. There you go. Everybody out. Everybody out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, gang, get in the van, <laughs> like we're moving. Uh, I don't know how many of them are alive. Please, majority, one, two, three. I'm missing the shiny one, that's okay. Shiny one. One by one. The yellow light the yellow cruelly light burned cruelly away the Trebum's burn abilities. The Trebum's abilities. Yeah, 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 that's what I was thinking. I'm losing my mutations. About the evil light of the cylinder no, <laughs> no, now Grogu. What kind of creature to <laughs> okay, well. Um, I think we need to just do it. I think we need to just go. Uh, cause the yellow light, like, we're not able to avoid the yellow light. Oh, Grogu's back. Okay. Well, <laughs> you know, you never can, you never can tell with that rascal. Uh, okay, okay. So, this is kind of like what the elders had warned us against. Uh, these, these machinations, machinations, machine nations. I don't know. The big spooky machine guy that we just ran away from that burned all of our abilities away. Which makes me very sad. Oh, hello. Uh, it makes me very sad because now we're just a group of, you know, six Trebums. Whereas we used to be, used to be like a, like a specialized ta uh, task force. What are you? Can I eat you? I can't. Okay. So we'll just eat you. Might as well start. Start getting our, uh, our mutations back. What the heck? You're new. Okay, amphibian body. A Trebum with this type of water adapted body can keep swimming as long as it likes. Alright, cool. Well, so we just kind of like rediscovered gills. Uh, you are a storage Trebum, if I remember correctly. Does anyone still have any mutations left? I don't think so. I think literally everyone has been reset. But I think you are going to do great as a storage one. We'll just go for it. Hold on. 
do, do, do. go to Guvu. Yeah, Guvu, Guvu was the refrigerator the last time anyway, so we'll just stick with it. No, I said refrigerator, not you, Google. Everyone out, everyone out, everyone out, everyone out. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. They are slow, thankfully. You're not the only big slow blob in this swamp. All right, what do you do? I feel like I shouldn't touch it. What the <laughs> fish in the background? <laughs> the big, big thing in the background is like just headbutting the ground. Okay, we're gonna interact. Um, that was a good idea or not? What do you do? Whoa, revival shrine. These special ruins scattered around the world allow you to store or revive fellow Trebum. Storing Trebum can be useful if you reach the maximum party limit, but would like to call upon some of your Trebum during a later stage of the adventure. Reviving lost Trebum comes at a cost. The cost is based on how many mutations Trebum had when it perished. Lucky for me, all of my Trebums have zero mutations. Um, so Cloud, Tribe, Dead. Looks like those are the three the states of Trebum. On the strange device. I forget that we're still in the prologue, like still in the very beginning. It feels like we played a lot of game. A memory of long ago, where the cities of their people still stood. Cities. The fight against the cylinder so was cute. Not I would, look, I would love a city one. In those days, a very city smart of Trevum had found a way of cheating the cylinder, of stealing a little bit of its power to mm. absorb. And to so they used to harness the cylinder almost. In this way, the Trevum could revive their fallen friends, or send others. To a hidden place, and it was also by. I actually have not let any die. A link had been forged, because I saves come. and a path had been opened to the voice that spoke within them. I don't know if I should send them to the cloud just because, or like uploading our trebums to the cloud, uh, because I I feel like at this point they're all equally worthless. <laughs> like, like none of them are super fancy right now. Maybe we just, maybe we just hold on to them all. Um, but now that we know this exists, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. Yeah, I want to get away from that guy. My thought process really is that like we should probably be, um, just suck that down. We should probably be experimenting with um, different types of mutations and stuff right now. Okay, what do you do? You're you're a mutation as well, aren't you? Yeah, you do something. Here, let's let's give this to somebody. Um, I th think if I remember correctly, you give us the ability to. Oh, oh everybody out! Everybody out! Everybody out! Oh, I didn't know he was there until the last second. <laughs> run, run, you dumb little balls of feet. Honestly, you're just like storage pockets. <laughs> I love these little ads. They're so good. Um, okay, hold on. This is not the time to mutate. Mut we'll mutate whenever we're in safety. We will mutate later. Everyone over here, come with me, my friends. Do, 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 do. Okay, now we can mutate. So what do you got, Grogu? You have... That's right, that's right. Now you're the water processor. Okay, which is fine. Like the water processor is a is an admirable job. It's not fantastic because you're turning food into water, which like water is not that hard to get, um, but it'll do. I would like to push on. I think we like this area doesn't really seem to have anything particularly uh, unique in it, at least from what I can tell. Like maybe I could go up and down, but I think really what we want is to restore the power of our trebums to like what it was before, and I think. Right now, like this is just the best way. So send it. Let's go. Let's go. Everybody out. Please move with me. Please move with me. Okay, you guys are doing great. You guys are doing great. Uh, we're gonna be able to make it there. I don't see anything in our way. Never mind. I take that back. <laughs> I take that back. <laughs> oh, I spoke too soon. Are you? Yeah, you're just a shroom. This game's so. It looks so good. Look at this. Look at this. I love, I love this game. Like, I think this is going to be incredibly popular. Uh, I should mention this game is in a early beta state, and I believe they're still sending out codes. Uh, so if anyone's, oh, we need to, I need your, I need your goods. Give me one of those. Give me one of those. All right, we will take care of that here in a few. Um, don't let Grogu turn into water, because I know that's what he wants to do. That is a hatching area. We could probably hatch one if we had found one. Um, don't 
C N E. Not like immediately. So I am just gonna just go for it. Um, everybody in? Everybody in? Quicker, quicker. Come on, you little, little, uh, little balls, little friends. Everybody is hum hungry as well, so I should probably try to to feed them all. Um. All right. Boom. Everybody in. Everybody in. All six of you. Good. I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm hurting the, like the dwarves or something. All right. Um. Give your bouncy thing. You already ate it. You already ate the bouncy thing. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to grab another one of those then. I don't like that sound. <laughs> I don't like that sound at all. What is happening? No, everyone run, 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 run. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That's, that wasn't supposed to, what the? Oh no, this wasn't supposed to happen. The cylinder's not being stopped. I still don't respect you guys. Here, get. Them run too far. Hmm. They would have to stay in the eye of the storm. Are we in a storm? Stay in the eye of the storm. I'm assuming that that thing is going to just eviscerate me if I run up to it. I think we need to go to the right. Um, let's go this way. Is everybody with me still? Like they're 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 with me, but are they really worth anything? Oh, this way, this way, this way. I think they'll be fine. None of them seem to be getting into trouble. Um, we want to run all the way up there. I don't know if like we're actually going to be able to stop the cylinder this time. This, it seems like the, the rules have changed. Like, the game is no longer um, run to the next cylinder and then you'll be okay. It is very much more intense than it was before. <laughs> the cute world that, like, we had been kind of welcomed into is, uh, is slowly, slowly being chipped away, I think. Okay, let's go this way. Lead our people to greatness. You little trouble, Mew. Although, we have no food. Hold on, hold on. Everybody eat. Everybody eat. Start, start just snacking. Uh, please shove something down. Shove down your shrooms. Cause like, the, the, uh, circle's actually moving really slowly. So we can, we can kind of afford to do this. Um, eat, 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 eat. Yeah, we have the time. We have the time. I would like to see what happens to one of those guys whenever they pop, but to be honest, um, I don't think that I am equipped to do that. Are we there? No, we're not there. I thought this was it. I was... I, oops. Okay. You are a thing, though, right? Like, you are going to let me interact with you or something, right? Do you have a... Do you have an opening, perhaps? You do not. Hmm. Alright, I think we just go. I think we just send it. I mean, this is definitely meant to be like a slow area. Like the, the cylinder's moving so slowly that I think we could probably try to recoup some of our losses. Uh, maybe like go, we could, we could get everybody to get a horn. Would that be worth it? Sure, here, you you get the horn. I don't really want the, um... no, 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 go back. Go back to Voodoo, who's the most recent addition to our team. Uh, I do not want this. So let's put it in the water processor. And then I would like you to eat this. What are you gonna get? That one's the horn, right? Yeah, that should be pretty basic. Stay away from this guy. Dude, okay. So at least now we have one with a horn. That's not like a really, really useful mu mutation, but it'll work. Um, and then everything in the world that's running from the cylinder, we're just going to help you guys out by activating this one. The game has certainly changed. Like, this is much more frantic and and uh, immediate. And I don't know where the storm finishes. The eternal cylinder is producing an electric barrier that you cannot cross. Outrunning the lightning strikes is not possible. Oh, okay, okay. So we have to stay within a certain, like, vicinity of... Oh, this is going to be new. Hold on. Go back. Go back to Vinu. Uh, yep. Eat, please. This is brand new. This dandelion thing. What'd you get? Oh, not yet. This one. What'd you get? You better hurry up, dude. <laughs> he filters toxic fumes. Oh, that's incredibly important. Hold on. We need everybody to have this. You give it to Gogwoop. Who could forget Gogwoop? The one of the OGs. 
Okay, the cylinder seems to have stopped. Oh, we need we need everybody as to have a toxic trunk. And surprising as this enormous creature was. Wait. The Trebum felt a sense oh. of relief to see it descend. <laughs> That's like enormous creature. What are we talking about? We've seen this thing before. This was the celestial being they'd been told to seek. Perhaps it held an answer to their troubles. Perhaps it held an answer to their troubles. I will I will I'll indulge. Let's go. Oh, Vunu's already eaten one. Uh Wedelo, you take one, if you would. Everybody everybody eat up. Mark Ruffalo, you need to avoid the poison as well. Okay, you eat one of those, you'll get the poison trunk. Like at the very least we'll be able to explore the poison, you know. Like that's that's the only real thing we're gonna have going for us. Um I will take that and I'll put it on Guvu. Guvu, it's your time to shine, my dude. Um, if you don't mind. He's eating, he's snacking. Honk. <laughs> Still good. Still good. Uh, still funny. Uh, give one to Grogu. If you don't mind, Grogu. Taking a taking a bite before you turn it into water. Before you liquidate it in your stomach. Inventory. No, 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 no. Give it to him. <laughs> give it to someone who won't eat it. Two. Okay. Party's all squatted up. The gang is ready to take on the poison. Like, that is the only thing we collectively as a group have. Uh... That's the only time I've ever had one mutation on, like, all six. But I say we talk to the dragon. Like, I think this is the moment. Let's go to you. All right, Gugu. Interesting. It's so, like, it just never ends. It's this, like, eternal... I love it. Ancient-looking dragon. And we can probably open up some of these for more cylinders, or for more... Their optimism Trebums. faded. We have so many already. They did not seem to like them at all. And now they realize what terrible danger they Oh, were come on. <laughs> now it doesn't like me. <laughs> that, place that place must lie below it. Below it. Oh, I've been zapped. So large, the creature most likely could not see what was in front of it. Or, or beneath, beneath it. it. Oh. So perhaps the size of the Trebum was an advantage after all. Sneak past. Okay, there is no sneaking, that's fine. They could reach the platform right under the serpent's head. You know what? Uh if you guys if you know what, Mr. Attenborough, if you think that we could reach um Oh, if you remain in its line of sight for too long. You know what? How about this? How about this? We can survive. We have the technology. How you guys doing? Did everybody drop? They did. Everybody dropped. I'm a little um scared of our food situation. Because as far as food goes, like, no one has any. Like, everybody is, everybody's pretty much starved. Um, we also... What? That was weird. Oh, I must have run out of stamina. We also don't have a way to get back up. Are you gonna lead me to the... Yes! I found some sort of, like, ancient stairway. Yeah, he can't see directly beneath him. Look at that. Let's go. You know what? We'll rescue this Trebum. You can't find other Trebum. Return to the platform from time to time. Uh, other wandering friends might have reached it on their own. What? What does that mean? I don't know what that means, but I'm taking this guy with me. Yeah, there's like things here to, to equip all of your Trebums with poison as well. Um, let's do this. Launch your, launch your ball. And then we'll... There we go. So now whenever we hatch him, we can give him one. We'll enter the Elder Cave. What a weird... Um, I mean, I've seen that... We've seen that monster before, so we could have assumed... Oh, I can't carry my egg with heading me. Best of the gun. The Trevum now found themselves seeking the help they had been promised. Is it the Elders? Who would answer their questions? We have no lights. No, 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 no. What's happening? What is happening? Someone needs legs. Uh, someone take these legs. You, Vunu. You look like you're doing great. Vunu must have been... I think Vunu was the one that we had lit up. I think Vunu was the, uh... Was the, like, glowing one. Which we no longer have. Does it make sense just to drop? I think it does. What do you do? do you, you're, are you the glow? I think you're the glow, aren't you? Let's make you glow. Okay. 
Awesome. Okay. So we needed a bioluminescent one because that room seems to be um, completely empty. Gogwump, you too. Might as well. You. Nope. Go back to him, please. Go back to him. I actually think this game is better played on controller because um, that mechanic right there is a little bit easier. Just bouncing back and forth between them with the bumpers feels pretty natural. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm like enjoying the control scheme on controller, I think, a little bit more than I was uh, on PC or with the mouse and keyboard. Still, obviously, on PC, but you get the point. You get the point. All right, no one can actually break those, so it doesn't really do me much good to, to worry about them. Um, try to go down this tunnel. I think the whole point of this tunnel is literally just to make sure that you're uh, that you're that you're bioluminescent. But I think we're probably good. Time to go back up. I believe. Dunk, dunk. They're so cute when they jump. Yeah, there we go. Stairs. All right, Vunu. You've never been the leader before, but here you are. The only one that is like radioactive. I guess not the only one, but hello. You're terrifying. I'll eat you as well. Might as well give him a. Uh, might as well give him a uh, jumpy legs, because it seems like that's going to be needed in this. Like, if the mutation's here, I'm just going to assume that it's needed, you know? What do these things do? Get to your legs. Oh, you're just food. Okay. There are arrows? I see that arrow. Even with the light, and I went the other direction. The maze was difficult to traverse. Let's go the way of was the arrows. Some clue in the that's the exit. On the walls. Was the path of sand on the ground meant to help them? The path of Perhaps sand on the ground. others had walked in this place long ago and tried to leave a path for those who would one day follow them. Oh, I see, I see. I'm following this, like, um, burned down portion of the ground. I think we've done it. That wasn't too bad. We might have just blind lucked through that, but I think we're good. My gang of bizarrely colored drubums. Follow me, lads. We've done it, I think. There's there's treasure here, so something's right. What do you got? Are you a slug? Are you a slug friend? Are the slugs natural friends of the Trebums? Uh, no one is a cube. We don't have cubes anymore. We don't have a cube anymore. I think... Hold on. Which you would do well as a cube? Mark Ruffalo, you've always been a cube. You've always been a cube, I think. Might as well get one of those. Nope. Oh, I ate the big egg that gives us tons of health that I was saving for a bad situation. Oops. Oh, that's not the cube that makes you... Okay. I forgot. I thought that it was a cube that made you uh, cube-shaped, but it's not. There's a special egg on top of his head. Hmm. No. You give me a power. Might as well, huh? <laughs> Bottoms up, basically. Third eye. Oh, that's right. We've had this already. No, we haven't had third eye. We had, like, different vision. You can use this mutation to look for specific ingredients by tagging them in the compendium. Uh, this can be useful for tracking down items required for objectives. Oh, like, hey, I need All this thing. The we're experiencing. Go find it for me. A third eye okay, so I would like... The item that turns me into a square. Stranger, this eye seemed to look in two directions this at thing. once. Into the world and into their memories. Into their memories. They could use it to find in the real world any element that was contained in the web of their memories. Oh, so if I need to get something from the... Mutation. Yeah, I see, I see it right there on the other side of the thing. Okay, so we need to go find a way to get to that. Um... Probably should involve one of the neon green ones first. So there's supposed to be a little bit more. Um, can you jump through there? I don't think so. Maybe to the right? They're supposed to be a little bit more, like, adaptable, I think, than I was using them. Like, I think we're supposed to be a little bit more fluid in the way the mutations work. So you're going to be, um, 
like switching back and forth between a bunch of different mutations consistently whereas i was kind of like once they are that thing they just stay that thing then it seems like the game really wants to force you into this like uh swiss army knife kind of approach where like you have a tool for every job but then you're switching out um you're kind of like switching them out as you need them if that makes any sense that maybe doesn't make any sense but that's okay no i'm gonna drop oh i missed it puzzling puzzling puzzles platforming puzzles okay jump no i bounced that does feel a bit weird like my forward momentum uh or my upward momentum was turned into forward momentum because i like bounced off a wall that's a little gamey but that's okay all right how we doing we need to get is it over there i think so yeah 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 perfect 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 i just wanted these honestly although i should probably go grab the the gems the gems are good might as well get the gems yes i like these little dungeons like the dungeons are very uh i don't know they're fun like they, they let you use the problem solving that's in the outer world but in like much more um specific puzzles or much more like targeted puzzles Hopefully you can be a, a square and bioluminescent. Oh yeah, perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Uh, I'm gonna make Guvu. No, you can't be square, you're huge. Maybe Wetalo as well? Yeah, Ruffalo, you've been square before. Maybe your body will remember. You're gonna be square. <laughs> that makes the three eyes like even funnier to me for some reason because he's just like uh he's just he's just like got one on each uh on each side of the square all right perfect drop i think and then was it in here no it was in here it would be funny if the square didn't rotate and he just kind of like flopped like Rock of Ages basically, which I found out the developer of Rock of Ages is the developer that made this game. So um, that's why the rolling mechanics are so similar. Hello, Mr. Elder. Oma, Omua, Omua. You know what? I, I think that I think that Yumu's earned it. You know, you've become a valuable member of this squad. You get to be the one that speaks with the Elder. Encountering another Elder was a happy moment. How do they get so big? How they might survive the cylinder. How and we might survive. Replied, I can <laughs> you feel don't. your fear, little ones. Ever since this cataclysm began, we have been seeking ways to stop it. But the cylinder is relentless it's our and eternal enemy. It will consume everything in its path. So, perhaps what we need to do is go behind it. Go where no trouble has gone before. Allows us to rise into the sky. You must seek a weeping tree <laughs> Up and over. grows a special fruit that floats as it becomes ripe. It is the key to the transformation I have undergone. With it, you can use geysers to float well above the cylinder's height. Oh, I there's a two-part process here. That I have grown too old and weak to help you with this task. If you find be like any glimmer of hope on the other side, or daffodil seeds. Me. No, dandelion seeds. Farewell. Thank you, Mr. Elder. Thank you, Elder Trebum. You've served your kind well. Uh, we can we can go down here. So this is the geyser, I'm assuming, right? That he's plugging. Like he he's learned how to fly. <laughs> he's learned how to fly, but he's too thick. Um, so he he just. <laughs> he just plugs this hole. That's great. That's good. Okay, that's goofy as heck. Uh, alright, everybody out. We're going this way. I just said the words goofy as heck, and I need to just, like, rethink my life choices. I'm gonna... Let's, let's go this way. Let's go this way. Will you send me up? I don't think you will, right? Yeah, no, because I'm not, I'm not, like, balloon-sized yet. So where can we get one of those... Uh, flowers. That's like the real question. 
Because, I mean, if all you had to do was tell me, oh, yeah, eat the flower, like, I would have found that eventually. So is it down low? Does it exist in this room? No. Are you in the outside, though? Sadness and fear filled the Trevum's hearts as they left the Sadness and cave. fear. Their only path to salvation was full of uncertainty. Of uncertainty. And they could not forget the thing they had seen lurking behind Oh, yeah, the gigantic the machine that was hidden behind the cylinder. Over this which is of light. also terrifying. Because we're kind of just, like, moving from one evil to another, right? Out of the frying pan into the fire kind of situation. Hmm. Okay, so now we have to find this mutation. The had never seen this mysterious tree the elders spoke of. They would have to keep moving it? forward and hope it lay somewhere ahead. Oh, uh, okay. The cylinder would give them no other choice. I'm gonna go to what the cylinder's pointing to over here. I think there's some sort of thing over here. We're actually kind of close to a uh, I don't know we're, we're kind of close to that one there's also like, like there's forward and there's sideways essentially I think maybe yeah that's a dandelion that lets us survive poison um, I think maybe whatever it is over here will be good for us let's just check it out at the very least like there's no harm to it right no harm to the exploration oh there's like a minefield up there See that? I am wary. You're okay, you bring them back from the dead. That's a shrine. We we've already seen this. Okay. Um does it do any good to go explore the minefield? Because we're gonna have to burst this uh this bubble. And I think if we burst it, we're probably not going to want to like waste any time. I think we just I think we just eat. We'll just see what we'll, we'll kind of like give it a once over, you know, do like a really quick check. And if I maybe can't survive here for whatever reason, or if there's some sort of like heat thing, like there might be some sort of mutation I need just to be here. Like I have to, I have to uh, find the Gerudo outfit or something like that. Yeah. Okay. So every, so all these trebums are are like in dire danger. Uh, let's go this way, please, trebum friends. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, okay, one of you can swim, uh, you're gonna be the only one that can make it across, and that's going to be really bad. Which one of you can swim? Which one of you can swim? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 we'll come back, <laughs> come over here, my friend. No, my friend, where are you at? Um, this one, too? Alright, everyone else, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry! No! <laughs> Okay, I figured I wasn't gonna make it out, but it was worth a chance. It was worth a shot. Okay, so everyone needs to be... Ah, <sighs> everyone needs to be either in, like, running shape, and then we'll, we'll jump across, and then just hope that they can swim the majority of the way, or they all need to have the, the bladder enhancement. But I doubt we're gonna get to that point, honestly. Like, it's really hard to get everybody that. Because it just kind of randomly found in, like, the... Oh, probably shouldn't do that. Okay, is everybody if is everybody's like health good? Yeah. And then do you need to eat? How do you eat one? It seems like it seems like if the bar in the top left is good for one trebum, it's good for all of them. So I think like everyone's relatively full. Uh let me find the trebum yeah, two. Okay. Now let's go. Autobots roll out. And we're going to get as close to the water as we can. And then I'm going to send this little Trebum just like off. And I don't, I think that the rest of them will teleport, but I'm not certain of it. Let's go. Now, I don't know that they're all going to make it. That's what I'm a little worried about. Um, because this one can survive, but I don't know that the rest of them will. <laughs> so just don't think about it. Just don't, uh, just don't look. Don't look at the other Trebums. Don't look at the Trebum friends. They're doing great. They're, they're all right behind you, too. They're actually, it's, it's kind of funny. They have this, like, filter noses, because that probably would be terribly miserable to, to breathe.
breathe through, but that's okay. They're doing great. They're doing great. None of the other Trebums can swim <laughs> at all. <laughs> We're still outrunning the cylinder. That's the important part. Okay, 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 okay. No, no, no. Don't, don't jump. That's crazy. Don't jump. We got this. We got this. We got this. Everybody in. Please tell me they're all alive. They're all alive. They made it. We just needed one. We just needed the one, and then not to look. Not too bad. Honestly, not too bad. Like, could have been much worse. Um, I think it's going to be a good place to pause it because we're in safe land, and this isn't like a terrifying area. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, leaving a like is the easiest way to support the series. More Eternal Cylinder to come, especially as the beta kind of continues to uh, to go on. So, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next to find. But the voice and their memories encouraged them. It was wise in matters of root and rock, and it could sense the soil under their feet changing. Step by step, they were getting closer.